Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see outside, it is pitch black because it's nearly 10 o'clock at night. So sorry you're getting kind of funny angles, but it's so I can get as much light as possible rather than being really shadowy. This is going to be my pack with me for my best friend's wedding. So two of my best friends are getting married on Monday. Today is Saturday night just now, but we go down, the wedding is in Peebles and we go down tomorrow. So I have to be at their house at midday. So I need to leave at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning to get there but I also totally had planned to go do um, like a little M&S run today just to get like bits and pieces for the cottage that we're staying in so I need to actually do that in the morning so I'll need to be away before 11. Basically I don't have time tomorrow <laughs> for anything so need to get everything packed in tonight. Now I am in the bridal party so this is my dress for the actual wedding so I was assigned the colour green um, it's in a really historic venue so we're all in like flat shoes or trainers because the floors are really uneven and whatever. I've got my Fitbit on just now, I'm not going to have that on the day of the wedding. But I've got this ring. I've had this for years, I got this in Topshop and I've always just really liked it. It's just, I think it was like £7 or something, like complete costume jewellery. But I've always kept it because I've really enjoyed it. You will know if you watched my, well the last video that I filmed but possibly not the last video that's gone live which was my Wales and wedding prep video where I shared the fact I got my hair chopped. I was thinking about doing a beehive, but now that I've kind of got it curled like this with the pink curling wand, I do just quite like it down actually. Um, so I think I might just keep my hair down. I would have really liked like a gold belt. I feel like this dress is a bit, um, like it's a bit big here, I feel like it could have done with a belt, but I couldn't find one, so there's that and I go tomorrow, so there's really no point getting into it, is there? But I think I need some earrings. I'm not sure necklace wise, like let's try some stuff on. Because I've totally got time for that at 10 o'clock at night, the night before I go. I've been up since so early this morning as well. I feel like absolutely done, ready to just keel over. And uh, this is me just starting this. So great organization on my part. But anyway, I've pulled out a bunch of earrings there. Lauren got me these and I really like them. But I think they're kind of the wrong shade of green for... Yeah, this is like a sort of tealy green almost. They're like a beautiful khaki green. Like, I absolutely love them, but I don't think they're the right green for this. So, I've pulled out a couple of options. absolutely love these earrings. Wait, I'll get them out. These were from Topshop as well. Absolutely love them. I'm going to try them on, but I don't really know if I want to do them and then have the ring, which has got the gold, but I'm going to try these on and have a look at them. Okay, so I have the Topshop like celestial earrings in one ear, and do you know what? I really like these, and it's a really low lit venue, like they're using all candles. I feel like these might like catch the light and look really nice. And then in the other ear, I've got these dangly earrings with a green tassel which I feel maybe kind of match generally a bit better but I do think because it is going to be so dark there's maybe something to be said for something that will catch the light a little bit um, but if I go with these I'm going to switch the ring out for something else but I do really like them and I've been kind of looking for an excuse to wear them because there's not been many events in the last few years thanks to the C word I do love them. But I don't know if they're maybe not the best choice for the outfit, but I really like earrings. But yeah, I think I prefer these to these, but I've got other ones to try. Okay, round two, still got the top shot ones in here, or these ones are like old ones from H&M, so they're green at the top and then they've got the gold tassel. Again, I feel like these maybe match better, but I like the sparkle of these. You can see where I'm going with this, can't you? Quite like these, actually. Yeah, so these are just like a delicate gold sort of double loop. Mm, quite like both of these actually. Both in the running. Mm. So now I've got this earring in, which is like all these squares inside of each other. The sort of, all the lines of that actually maybe quite nicely echoes the fact the dress is pleated. Doing that thing where I'm sort of, I want to wear these, but actually I think maybe the other earrings are better. In terms of catching the light, these ones, I think these were from Warehouse. You know, they're quite big and dangly and although they're not stones, they're like reflective. So I feel like, you know, in terms of throwing some light around the place, because it's going to be so dark, these might be quite a good shout. I like the way that this, the square, like, 
does mirror the lines in the dress though. I think that's quite I think that's quite cool, but I think maybe because of the lighting, something that will reflect a bit is maybe going to be more flattering to bring a bit of light into the face. Okay, I think these are the last contenders. I really like these because they're really like cool and sort of raw and whatever. But I think these throw up a bit more light, which is going to be flattering. And these are quite heavy. And I feel like a wedding's a long day and my ears aren't quite as sore with these. They're going to be sore by the end of the day because every time I wear like not real, like any kind of costume jewellery for any length of time, I end up with sore ears. But I feel like actually these are the most practical because although they're big earrings, they're really light. So I think I'm going to go with these ones. Okay, so I've got the two matching earrings in. I'm wearing the ring. So I've just tried on some necklaces. I feel like my chest is quite bare without anything, but I don't know if it's just a bit much. So I've got one pendant here and then this one I just shoved around because I'm not sure that I like these pendants together. This one is an Aphrodite one. I feel like just given that it's a wedding. I don't know, I think I just prefer it without any neck. Like I like the two necklaces, I like the pendant and then the, just actually seeing the chain of the other one. Like I like it as a look, but I feel like... I feel like I prefer this overall look without the necklaces. So, so I think we'll just go earrings and ring. Okay, so the most important things that need to go in this case is this stuff here. So that is my the ring and the two earrings. So I just shove them in an old glasses case that's flaking everywhere, but it's fine. It keeps them safe. The dress, tights. And my shoes are in this one, so let me get this into this little packing cube. There we go. So I've got tights, underwear, and my bra for the dress, accessories, and then this is spare tights and spare underwear, just in case. You know what tights are like, can't afford a run on the day, so spare tights and underwear for the other days as well. And then the dress needs to go in. outfit for the day itself that cube is the shoes so let's get them in the case ASAP most important things also important my steamer that is what I need to get me through Monday I actually say this is the most important probably the most important thing or things are these two so this is my hand sanitizer Um, I'll put that over there because I'm just gonna put that in my handbag so this is Kim's makeup for the day I am doing Kim's makeup this is my makeup for the day. So I did my makeup today, used all my products. So all my brushes and products are in there. I feel like I talk about this in every pack with me video, but this mirror, Lauren got me, it's from Primark. It stands up like that. It's just so good if you're traveling and because it's not like hinges or metal, it's not gonna break. So putting that in there. So in with this, I've got my Katie Jane Hughes a table from the Spectrum Collection, Sephora Dry Brush Cleaner, and I'm going to stick in as well, a, I got a new set of sponges from Beauty Pie, because a lot of mine were really past it, so got them, and I've also got my antibacterial makeup spray. I mean, it's only Kim and I that are using it, and I'll use different brushes for both of us, but you know, you can never be too careful, so... Yeah, I'll pop that in. I think that is that's all of Kim's makeup. I washed all the makeup brushes that I used on Kim this morning. They're not all dry yet, so I need to remember to put them in in the morning. But that's all Kim and I's makeup. I think I'm going to take a pair of lashes because you know if you can't wear false lashes at a wedding, then when can you really? I'm going to do a cat eye, so I don't want anything too. I don't want anything too heavy. Do you know I absolutely I've. I don't want to take the ones that are somewhere in this packet, despite the fact it looks empty, because these are quite old, but oh, these were like my favourite lashes. So they were the Fleur de Force ones, and they're just like three quarter lashes. Oh, they were great. Honestly, bring back those lashes. Um, again, they're used. Like, I use them and then I clean them off, but I don't, I don't want to use even cleaned off ones. At the, oh, they... I'll take those ones, I think. A collaboration with Emma Willis. Yeah, they look kind of fluttery and like they're getting 
sort of more fluttery towards the end so that will probably work quite well with a flicky liner so I'm going to take them for myself. I don't think him wants lashes and then I've got my dual lash glue so I will stick that in. So that is all the makeup stuff. I was going to wash my own makeup brushes but I think what I'll maybe do when I lift Kim's in the morning is they're all on my spectrum towel. In fact I'll just I'll put this in the case and show you it. So these are Kim's brushes. I should have washed them last night actually but anyway I did it this morning but I think these are all dry to be fair it's just these bigger ones aren't dry. So I think what I'll maybe do in the morning is actually just lift that towel as it is and just roll it up and put it in my luggage and I will take. This is the cleanser I used this morning um, to wash the brushes with. I'll take that and take the towel and then just wash my brushes when we get to the cottage so that they'll hopefully be dry by the next morning or if not I can use the Sephora dry spray so it'll be fine. I'm not the important one, Kim is the important one. Makeup taken care of, let's talk hair. I'm going to wash my hair when I arrive so I've got this little trio. I think this was in a Space NK gift with purchase or something so it's from Virtue. It's the Volumize and Thicken Shampoo, Conditioner and a uh, Blow Dry Cream. I'm going to take that, my Dyson Hair Dryer, my R & Co Dallas Volume Spray, Wet Brush. Then I'm going to take my Diva Curling Wand. That's my heat mat for the curling wand. I've still not 100% decided if I'm going to just curl it on the day or do a beehive. So if I do decide to do the beehive, I've got Kirby Grips there and a back combing comb. If I decide I'm not doing the beehive, I've got my wide tooth comb. I'm going to take my IGK Down and Out Dirty Spray to give it a bit of texture, a bit of hold. And I'm also going to take, it's a Dry Bar Too Faced collaboration and it's Glitter Hairspray. And it, I mean, if you can't wear Glitter Hairspray at a wedding, when can you really? So I'm going to take that. It's something that I don't really get to use a lot, so it's nice to get the chance to use it. And I'm also going to take my Davines Strong Hairspray. So that is all of the hair stuff that I am taking. I've got all my hair stuff into this packing cube, but actually just in with that, I'm going to throw my razor because I'll want that for the bath um, or the shower when I'm washing my hair. But I am going to have a bath as well and I'm going to take this box, which you may recognize from my Wales trip. So I got this for Christmas. 2019 it's got five bath bombs in it and I don't have a bath at home. Took this to Wales hoping I might have a bath. The room didn't have a bath, a lot of hotels don't now but I believe these cottages have a bath so I'm going to take that and get the use of some of those bath bombs. There we are so hair and makeup is in, bath stuff is in, outfit for the day is in so I just need clothes for I'll travel whatever I travel down in obviously I'm going to wear tomorrow for Sunday so I need pyjamas, I need clothes for Tuesday and clothes for Wednesday and toiletries. God, I was like, there's something else. Skincare, toiletries, that's what's outstanding. Sort of just realised how much of a state most of my pyjamas are. See, because I've been doing some form of a no buy or a low buy for the last few years, I've not really bought pyjamas. And I think I got like maybe one pair for Christmas last year, but I've been wearing them out and I've been getting rid of them. So it means... Then what I've been left with I've been rotating through even quicker so I don't really have pyjamas that are actually fit for like sitting in communal spaces with people that I don't know that well. Didn't really consider that until now but I picked out the best pair that I can. These are my pyjamas, they're actually they're more kind of summery pyjamas but they're, they're just gonna have to do. And because I don't know people that well I'm taking that's my a uh, Disney World zipper hoodie thing that I can put over my pyjamas if we are like sitting about at night and stuff. And I'm also going to take that as my dressing gown that I bought when I stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel in London. So it's like a waffle one, it's not like too thick and warm but just extra coverage I think. You know when you don't know people that well but you're staying in the same accommodation and it's, it's like cottages so we will probably all be gathering in like the living room and stuff so gonna pack that. On the Tuesday we need to go into actual Peebles town um, because Kim and Lucy need to drop off the wedding certificate or something with the registrar uh, which has to be done within three days of the wedding so we're going into Peebles to actually do that so for that I'm going to take this it's just a sort of long not quite maxi but like ankle length green dress I'm going to take leggings to wear underneath it socks and I'll wear that with my trainers and I will just my trainers will be the only other shoes I take that aren't the black shoes 
for the actual wedding day so that is my Tuesday outfit and I think what I'm going to do is just travel down these are ASOS Farley jeans like sort of mom jeans uh, this top was from G Crew, um, but it's quite old but I mean it's essentially a Breton top but it's yellow instead of navy my van socks that I talked about in the Wales pack with me video really like these because they're a bit lower cut so they don't show under like if you wear Vans or Supergas um, but I am not going to wear Vans or Supergas I'm going to wear the Adidas Superstars um, so I'll travel down with that and then I'll travel back in the same jeans and trainers and I'll take these socks and this green top to travel back in on Wednesday so I'll pack that into that there we are so that's all the clothing into a packing cube so let's get this into the case move things about a little bit but all fitting in absolutely fine I just need to remember Kim's makeup brushes in the morning and I need to get my toiletries in still so let's get that done so I think I've gathered up all my toiletries that I'm going to need um, so first of all when I did Kim's makeup trial I had bought a little bottle of the Garnier Micellar water and I left it with her to take her makeup off that night. She's bringing it with her so I will have that and I will use that first of all because there's no point in me taking another one when she's bringing that one. Then for my makeup removing cleanser, my standard Drunk Elephant uh, makeup removing butter. This is a new one that I just bought, it's my third one of this absolutely love it i think it's the best thing in the market it doesn't sting my eyes at all i kind of thought about trying another one and then i thought you know what this one works i know it works i know it doesn't irritate me i'm just gonna stick with what i know at the moment cleansing cloths to take that off with headband to keep my newly cut in fringe back first night that we arrive as i said i'm going to have a bath wash my hair etc whilst i'm in the bath i will use my origins original skin clay mask and when I come out the bath, I will use my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is nearly finished, so that will be the last of it, just in time for my Halloween finale of my 13 by Halloween project pan. Then on my face after the bath, bog standard. You've seen me talk about these things a million times. Kiehl's Iris Essence, Kiehl's Hydro Plump, a Hydrating Serum, Kiehl's Vitamin C Serum. I'm taking with me this little sample size of the Gold Fan MD Bright Eyes. I've had the sample of this before and I know again it doesn't irritate me or anything so I will take that as my eye cream. The first night going to bed instead of a night cream I will use the Kiehl's Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask. In the morning I'm going to use this little mini of the Murad HA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Standard routine and then the morning of the wedding this will show you what special wedding it is. I'm going to use one of my precious Patchology Illuminate masks. I absolutely love these. They're eight pounds a time, so they're really expensive for a one-use product, but I definitely see a difference in my skin when I use these. I love them so, so much. They are definitely a special occasion product, but it's a wedding, so a wedding is definitely a special occasion. And then I've got my Supergoop Play SPF. Just as well I do this, I need a moisturiser for the, the other days and night. So come over here, the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. That can go in as well. Then I've got contact lenses and a different prescription in each eye, so I now need to cart like one for each eye kind of thing. So I'll just take a box of each. I've got my Kiehl's Hand Cream. I'm presuming the cottages will have toiletries, but just in case they don't, I've got this little shower gel, which I actually, I think again when I stayed in the Hard Rock, I took this from there. So take that. Then Perfume. I really, really like this. It's from Clean Reserve and it's their Suede de Oud Perfume. It's really, really clean and not overpowering or anything, but it's still got substance to it so I think on like you know a busy night when there's going to be a lot of people and a lot going on and there's candlelight and everything you know you don't want anything too heavy when there's going to be that many people in a small space and whatever but it's still something quite distinct so absolutely love this perfume and last but not least my hair burst so I've been taking these for a week now and obviously I need to keep it up so taking them away with me to take in the mornings so yeah, I'm going to get this into my Elizabeth Scarlet wash bag that's lying there. So I got most of it in other than uh, the cotton wool pads and the face cloths. So they're deceivingly like quite spacious these bags. I feel like it doesn't look that big and you don't think you've got that much of an opening but you can get a lot in these. This was one of those things I felt like it was quite expensive for what it was 
So I ended up, I asked for, asked for it for Christmas last year, but I absolutely, I love having it. If you're considering one of these Elizabeth Scarlet wash bags, like, I really, really like having it. I think it's, it's actually would have been worth the money if I'd spent my own money on it at some point, but yeah, really, really useful. Um, super, super glad that I got that as a gift. It's been just a joy to use every time because it's so beautiful, but it's also really, really practical. So my case is all packed, everything fits, but I've just actually thought I should maybe put some socks in for like sitting about at night. Uh, so these are some of the Bath and Body Works socks, so I'm just going to pop these in the top. So socks are in, no bother. And in the morning I need to remember the makeup brushes that I'm using on Kim that I've washed, along with my toothbrush, toothpaste and deodorant obviously. Then my clothes for the morning are on this chair, so that's fine. Now you know how I was going on about the Longchamp tote that I'm thinking would be a good buy uh, or a good Christmas present to get if I was able to get it for Christmas in my Wales Pack With Me video. If you watched my last video you saw me taking one of my canvas totes to work and getting absolutely soaked. So this is such a throwback. Now this is such an old bag now that Marc Jacobs have re-released this bag. My gran actually got this in New York when we went when I was still in high school. How old this bag is. She's kind of held on to it. Um, it's you can see obviously like she's worn it so much because she's carried it up on her shoulder so this bit's got worn being under her arm and stuff. But it's actually, it's, it is quite a good bag because it's quite big. So I've got this clipboard because I'm taking these papers to and from work pretty much every day at the moment. So it doesn't shut over, it's just a button at the top and the, the clipboard really does take it up to the edge like I can't shut it over the clipboard. Um, but it's at least a little bit more waterproof. Now I'm not going to take my clipboard to the wedding. But I was just telling you, that's my current... I think the Longchamp tote would still be a good thing to get because it does actually zip over at the top. I'm thinking about one of the city ones. They don't fold away, but I think they're a bit more robust again in terms of being water resistant. So that's, that's where my thought process is. But in the meantime, I've been using this for work the last two days and actually really liking it. I think that's probably what I will take with me because it's just a really good kind of big bag that I can shove stuff in. So the only stuff that's going in it to start with, tissues, eh, headphones, hand sanitizer, purse and glasses wipes. But in the morning to put this camera and my camera charger into it. And also I'm wanting to do a bit of a little m &S run so I can fit all the Percy pigs in it is, is really what we're saying because that's obviously the priority at all times. Anyway, that is me. We're packed. We're ready to go. I am ready for my bed. I've actually just realised the clocks go back tonight so that's a very welcome extra hour of sleep that I'm going to get. Very, very pleased with that. I'm desperate to just take my makeup off, take my contact lenses out and face plant my bed basically. So all ready for the morning, I just need to remember toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant and Kim's makeup brushes. They're all in the bathroom so I feel like it's going to be, hopefully, fairly straightforward. I'm going to charge this camera just now, charge my phone overnight, put them in the morning and I think, I think that's everything. I feel like that was almost too easy, like I'm sort of waiting for something to hit me that I've forgotten it but I think that's everything so... Fingers crossed it's everything. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!